All right, guys, so for today's video, we're going to be talking about some streamer slash platform news. And the reason I wanted to talk about this was because of a video I just recently watched talking about big changes with Twitch. Now, I put a poll out asking my community this question. And as you can see the results, a lot of people think that everybody should be responsible for what they say or do on a platform. And the reason I asked this question was because just recently kick.com who if you're not familiar with is a competitor is a new competitor to twitch.com has been scooping up a lot of creators and and bringing people over from twitch to kick uh most recently was your rage most notably was xqc and amaranth with i think over a hundred thousand hundred million dollar deals um but your rage was just signed in sapnap who I'm unfamiliar with Sabnap, but apparently he's a micro Minecraft streamer. Now, the reason that this kind of intrigued me was due to this video from Ludwig and this specific portion of the video that I'm going to be playing. Anyway, back to uh, uh, the issues with Quick, which is their lack uh, of protecting certain communities. Specifically, if you go on that website, the, the cover boy of it, Aiden Ross, the guy who, you know, is kind of the face of Kick in some ways, his chat is, is they're ruthless, bro. They really want to kill a lot of minority groups all the time. Uh, and Tubbo talked about this after the signing of Sapnap, who is a creator with a younger demographic and a gayer demographic. Is people in communities such as LGBTQIA+, um, younger demographic and stuff like that. I feel like this platform is not a safe place to be openly trans, not a safe place to be openly Jewish. And look, Tubbo's 100% right that the chat... Now, before we get into what Lugway has to say there, just a few things. Um, if you're not familiar with Aiden Ross, yes, he's very problematic, I'd say. You know, he made his career off being kind of a shithead in, in, you know, a certain s sense of the word. And um, when he moved over to Kick, the reason was because Kick had kind of made it sound like this was going to be the Wild West. You could do literally whatever you wanted, say whatever you wanted, no repercussions. You wouldn't get banned. You wouldn't get suspended. Like what happens on Twitch or YouTube or any other streaming platform. And... Um, yeah, Aiden is just basically run run with that, you know, uh, within a few weeks, I think, of being on the platform. He was streaming pornography. He was watching uh, copyrighted movies. He was saying very outlandish things, uh, which he still, I think, does, talking about trans people and gay people and, I believe, Jewish people. And as much as I don't condone any of those things, if Kick is going off of the premise of being basically like a free speech platform, you know... You can do what you want. You can create the community that you want. And this is kind of what Aiden Ross tends to do or plans to do. Then, I mean, who are who are you to say what is allowed and what is not allowed? Now, there, there is a part where they gets crossed where, you know, he starts to say stuff like, let's kill all trans people, kill all gay people, yada, yada. You know, there are screenshots of his chat later on in this video that you will see what I'm talking about. However, we need to remember that every creator, every, you know, content streamer, whatever, has the ability to curate their community the way they want. They could put, you know, chat guidelines, they could filter out certain words. So if somebody tries to type in that word, it gets immediately banned or doesn't even get posted. That person might get timed out if they somehow circumvent the chat, the filter or you know say something that is inappropriate that they know that shouldn't be said the moderators can ban them time them out this and this and that however if aiden ross doesn't feel like he he wants to do that or needs to do that then that's his call but to compare sapnap to aiden ross it's kind of weird to me in terms of sapnap's community is a minecraft community yes they're a younger demographic i don't know if kick is a great platform for them as there's a lot of like like i said adult content gambling this and that however if they were watching sapnap on twitch it's not that much different they still have the hot tub streams the you know the girls playing doing yoga the, the exercising in a bikini type of thing like there's still adult content adult content on twitch 
sure not as explicit, I would say, as it can be on Kick. However, simply be having your community come from one platform to another and the other one having a little bit less restrictions doesn't mean that all of a sudden you have no control over your community. If Sapnap wants to keep his community the same way he had it before, then he has full control of curating his community to the way that he wants it. And if those people don't like that, then he can ban them or they can leave. Now, having another person's community come into your chat or your, your stream and, you know, disrupt it, be rude or whatever, that's again why you have um, safety measures implemented so that that doesn't cause a problem. Yes, Aiden Ross's chat goes free willy and just says whatever they want. But as Sapnap, if he has provisions and that those people come into his chat and try to do the same th thing they do in Aiden Ross's chat, it's not going to fly. So again, about this whole safe space and this and this and that, I don't really get what he's trying to get at. Let's go fucking crazy. They say some unhinged shit on kick.com. And I'm worried that kick has not done enough to, to stop that, to, to punish creators who let their chats run rampant or, or even moderate the chats from being able to talk like that at all. And they're going to go down to, to being like Rumble just purely associated with maybe some hateful groups as opposed to just a platform that wants to host content of all types. Uh, and it'll cap their ability to grow into a mainstream platform. Now, I understand Ludwig's point here. Um, I definitely agree that, you know, if you allow this behavior in a sense to continue, it doesn't look good. You know, if eventually Kick wants to have advertisers on their platform and they see that this is kind of the wild stuff that they do, then they might not get involved with them which might hurt the company later on i don't really think kick has that too much of a concern currently seeing as they don't even do advertisements at all right now they just kind of work off of their gambling side that funds their streaming website but again i think kick should be moderating people's chats and doing it like Kick openly said that if you come to this platform, you will not get banned for this, this, and this, and that. Have people taken advantage of it? A hundred percent. But if you've given people the ability to do that, then they will. Now, I believe Kick has put in some restrictions from what they originally said, especially with copyrighted stuff like watching full-length movies on your stream and this and that. I don't think that that's allowed anymore. I could be wrong. I don't really keep up too much on the kick drama or kick news. However, like I said, kick currently is what Twitch once was. And maybe Twitch wasn't as bad as kick is in the beginning here because times have changed. People do a lot more wild stuff than they would have done back in the day. But kick will eventually, I feel like, get to a point where as a creator, if you want your community to follow you, you're going to make the experience the best possible for your community because otherwise, what are you streaming for? If people don't like that you're not having any provisions or that you're allowing this, this, and that to happen in your chat or on your stream, people aren't going to stick around. So as a creator, you have a, the ability to change that. Now, if you want to see the rest of this video or the full video, I'll leave it in the description. There's also the screenshots that I was talking about within this video. Now, I don't agree with Aiden Ross and his tactics and what he promotes and what he says and what his chat says and, you know, what all those kids pile on and do. Um, I always had the mentality of be a leader, not a follower. Obviously, these kids, they need a little growing up to do, so they're not followers of this more or less idiot online. But again, simply because Aiden Ross is a prime example of what you shouldn't do on a platform doesn't mean that every other person who goes to that platform also will be doing the same thing. They shouldn't be tainted by it. But hey, that's just my two cents. Love to hear from you guys. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks so much.